Okay, so you've probably heard about the stingray at an aquarium in North Carolina, but if you haven't, it's weird because she's pregnant, but there's no other male stingray in the tank with her. But there are sharks. So up until recently, the aquarium was keeping the question of a shark ray alive, like some half shark, half stingray baby situation, but scientists were quick to debunk this as biologically impossible. Firstly, because they don't anatomically line up that way. And secondly, because sharks and rays evolutionarily diverged from each other 300 million years ago, which is even further back than dogs and cats. So basically a shark ray would be even weirder than a cat dog. The more probable cause is something even cooler. It's parthenogenesis, which is essentially a virgin birth, immaculate conception, whatever you want to call it. We've seen this in some species of insects and fish and birds and reptiles, but this is the first time we're seeing it in this species of stingray. So now if you're wondering how this works, there's a kind of parthenogenesis where a cell undergoes just mitosis to produce a genetically identical clone of the mom. But what's happening in this case is likely another form of parthenogenesis where an egg fuses with another cell called a polar body, and so genetic shuffling occurs and the resulting embryo is not an exact clone. So we've seen shark and ray and even California condor moms make their own babies this way in captivity, which is just to say it's cool to see how life will always find a way.